हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अवर सेकेंड चैप्टर ब्लड एनालिसिस सो इन दिस चैप्टर द पॉइंट्स इंक्लूडेड आर ब्लड प्रिजर्वेशन एंड एजिंग इफेक्ट्स एनालिसिस ऑफ ब्लड कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड एक्सोजेनिक सब्सटेंसेस एंड लास्ट पॉइंट इज ब्लड स्टेन एनालिसिस so in today's lecture we will see the blood stain analysis and the heading i have given here is blood stain collection and processing of blood stains so we will start with our point collection and processing of blood stains the important places for the search location of blood are so as we are we are learning the forensic science which is related to the murder cases or the crimes so there is a need to search location of blood so there are six places where we can found the blood stains so first is a scene of occurrence the place or the scene where the murder or the crime has taken place this scene is important where we can get the blood traces or the blood stains so first point is scene of occurrence next one is the culprit next one is the victim the culprit whom did the murder and the victim is the person who get affected or murdered then the fourth point is the weapon of offense means on the culprit body the blood stains will be obtained on the victim body blood stains will be obtained then the weapon which is used for murder or the crime that weapon must contain the blood stain next one is the vehicles sometimes murders will be occurred in the vehicles also so you can check the vehicles then last one is the route that culprit takes after commission of crime means when anyone has done murder of someone and he moves from that place that means he has taken a route and that route shows us the blood stains so route that culprit takes after commission of crime so these are the six places or the locations where we can get the blood stains now how we are uh, we can collect this blood or collection of the evidence so first is the liquid blood so when the murder is freshly done then we will get the fresh blood in the form of a liquid so liquid blood blood as a evidence it generally found as in the form of a blood pool means we will get on the surface or the tile the pool of a blood for the collection of liquid blood collect two samples from the scene of crime and each about of a 5 ml and collect this blood in a clean vials so simply we have to collect two samples from the murder place or the scene and each contains the 5 ml of the blood and this can be collected in a clean vials so in first vial you have to add sodium fluoride or sodium oxalate or citrate is added so this compounds act as a preservative for the blood sodium fluoride sodium oxalate or the citrate so out of three you have to add only one at a time so other is and second vial is kept without the preservative so first vial contains the preservatives and second vial does not contain the preservative and it is preferred to collect and send liquid blood in a sealed tubes or vials without preservatives so mostly uh, without preservatives the blood is sealed in the tubes and then these tubes are cooled in the ice so cooling is most important because uh, when time goes on obviously there are various reaction occur and due to that 
the active components will be disintegrate so that we want to stop the reactions of this blood so we can keep this blood into the eyes then if we have collected third sample then third sample is collected on a piece of clean cloth so if you have a handkerchief then you can collect this on the handkerchief or a cloth or a rag for control sample and this is dried and packed in a clean envelope so initially when fresh matter is there we can get a liquid blood and we are collecting this blood at least family in one while uh, as a such way you have to collect the blood in two vials first vial contains preservative second vial does not contain preservative and third way you have to collect the sample on the cloth and this cloth is uh, dried or the blood is dried and then packed in the clean envelope then if the blood pool has dried means simply when uh, murder occurs and it takes a long time when the people see the murder so if the blood pool has dried about 3 grams of the blood is collected when dried blood is there then we can easily collect this blood from that surface and it at least 3 grams can be collected then if the blood pool is a sticky mass or a thicken mass a piece of cloth can be stained dried and then packed in a envelope and it contains around 3 grams of the blood then second is the wet stain initially we have seen the liquid stain now we will see the wet stain if wet stains are found at the scene the technique is depend upon the nature of the surface and the quantity of the blood means when we get the wet stains but when surface is the clear surface then we can easily collect but when surface is uh, not uh, uh, smooth then we can not uh, collect the sample so it's necessary to find out the nature of the surface and the quality of the quantity of the blood so at that time we can take a clean piece of paper or rag and then press this paper against the stain if the stain is partially dry then the piece is moistened with saline water means when this stain is dried to the surface then it do not comes to the paper or the cloth so just moisten the cloth and stain or the press this cloth on the blood stains and at that time stain will get transferred to the piece of the cloth and cloth is always prepared over the paper and if the blood stain is on the non absorbed surface then it is allowed to dry and article is collected or particles are collected then if the stain is on the absorbed surface and has penetrated the surface it is allowed to dry and then it is collected Men, means what when the blood is on the absorbing species then it will get absorbed into the um, surface so we have to dry this surface and then the dried uh, blood collects in the grams then if the surface is not absorbing <coughs> then we can easily collect the sample and if it is not possible for example stain on the earth the core of material is collected in a glass jar for sample and means uh, when the blood is fall on the surface of the earth or the earth core of the material then we can collect the entire material in the glass jar for the sample <coughs> then the third type is the dry stain on the collection of dried stains from the scene of the following situations 
dry stain can be collected on the cloth or uh, on the absorbent surface or on non absorbent surface on grasses on body and washed blood so we will see one by one so dry stain means obviously blood will get dried and we have to collect this sample from the place of the scene so first point is a cloth so take a piece of the cloth or the possession of the cloth then on this cloth number of positions and stain uh, size of the stains can be recorded means suppose on the scene or the place we can get a shirt so on the shirt the number of stains were there so just find out the number of positions of that stain then size of the stain and that can be recorded then stains on the different clothes are needed to pack separately to avoid contamination means when we will get the stains on the different clothes either handkerchief on the shirts on the pants and so on so you have to separate the separately collect these samples from shirt pants or the handkerchiefs so that if the victim's blood or the suspect blood both are mixing or contaminations are occurs there that's why you have to avoid this contamination by taking separately packing the stains which obtain on the clothes then on absorbent surface so absorbent surface absorb the serum therefore stain and non stain samples are collected as before then third one is when the non absorbent surface is there collect article if possible then cloth will be moistened and then it is pressed against the stain and then uh, stain will get transferred to the cloth then you can take a piece of rag with inert gum stick to the surface peel it off stain is transferred to the piece means when very small amount of blood is there and it cannot be easy to collect at that time you can take a piece of rag with inert gum stick to the surface then peel it off stain it transfer to the piece dry it and pack it then if there is no alternative possible then scrap of the blood as possible with the clean razor which is present on paper then can be packed in a clean bag or vial then on the grass we can get the blood traces on the grass also when the blood is found on the grass then we should tie the grass cut the tuft then dry it and pack it in a glass jar after that when the blood traces will be found on the body then blood stains are sometimes found on the body of the culprit or the victim if found in hair it is collected by combining the hair then cut the hair and collect the blood then in fingernail scrap out with clean toothpick means when blood is to the fingers fingernails so at that time you can remove the blood from the fingernails by using toothpick then collect this blood traces and uh, lastly if on the body parts we can get blood traces then wait a piece of clean cloth or the rag and then press this against the stain so it will comes to the cloth and last one is a wash blood so if the blood part the seen or on the clothes has been washed it is still possible to detect that means when the blood part which is obtain at the seen or a place of seen and it has been washed either clothes were washed the surface were washed still we can find out the blood stresses there so this is all about the collection of blood and uh, collection and processing of blood stain so how to collect uh, the blood stains from the evidence how they can be stored how they can be analyzed so 
all this we have learnt in today's lecture